Hey guys, and welcome back to some more Risk of Rain. So you're probably saying, Risk of Rain, wasn't it supposed to be Shovel Knight? Alright, fuck Shovel Knight. I'm done with that game. I don't like playing games that just frustrate the shit out of me. I got through it once with uh, Skulls and Shogun's, but I'm not doing it with that game. So, that game never existed. We're never bringing that game up again. If you want to watch it, watch it on someone else's channel, watch it on Game Grumps. I don't care. I don't want to do it. I wasted $15, but really, it's whatever. Risk of Rain, I like playing. I have fun with Risk of Rain's. Shovel Knight, it's just a pain in the ass to record. So, we're just going to continue on with our little venture of, you know, doing all the characters. So, next we have the Sniper. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and play it on easy mode since the character is not that good. And, uh, sure, I'll run faster at lower health. That's fine. Alright, so, yay, back with some more Risk of Rain. I miss this game. And I'm, I'm disappointed in myself that I decided to put this game on pause for a game like Shovel Knight. So, as you can tell what the Sniper does, he's a sniper rifle. And he shoots. Uh, straight damage wise, he has the highest damage, but his DPS wise, he's kind of slow. That's why he's not he's not really one of the favorite characters in this game. It's because his DPS isn't that good, but he can dish out some good damage. Because you know I gotta reload the gun. You know, uh, definitely think they should probably give Sniper an upgrade, and so you don't have to do this whole loading mechanic because that's his, his gimmick. But really, it just makes him just not as good as a character because of it. But damage-wise, he's actually pretty good. All right, I'll take the ukulele. Also, I wanted to kind of bring the series back because I also have other series that I'm planning on doing. But also, um, I'm planning on doing a uh, you know a multiplayer with someone who actually wants to join me on a series. So we're going to be uh, working that out soon. And uh, I just like this game. I just like this game, and I'm glad that we I decided to bring this back. So, let me show you the other moves. So, he has this kind of backflip move, so he can kind of jump out of the way. He also has, like, this this little machine next to me. Uh, it can lock onto my enemies, tell me their health, how much health they have. And then they can also, and it also gives me auto crit, which I haven't used yet. And, uh, I do not have enough money for that. And, uh, also, I have this one where I hold and press and charge up, and it just does a crap ton of damage and kills a lot of enemies. So, that move is actually pretty good as well. Still don't have enough money. Oh my god. So, like I said, because, uh, ooh, smart shopper, because I'm using a character that's not that good, I decided to go ahead and play on easy mode. I won't be unlocking, uh, more of them card, them, uh, little care. I forgot what the hell they're called. Little character information things for the monsters, so, won't be unlocking the Huntress anytime soon, but I guess that's okay. Alright. Wandering Vagrant. Alright, I'm on battling against the Wandering, Wandering Vagrant. The boss isn't too terribly hard, so I ha went ahead and used my uh, my thing to go ahead and track down the Wagering Vagrant. So it tells me it's HP, yay! I mean, so I can tell the HP at the top screen, but uh, also it uh, uh, gives me auto auto crit, auto crit. So every time I shoot it, it will critical. <coughs> I'm just trying to get some distance from these enemies right now. So I'm trying to do. I can get some distance from these enemies, I can do my charge shot, and my charge shot would do a lot of damage. Like that. Done. Like that. That charge shot with the critical. You know, that's what makes the sniper so devastating, is that charge shot with the critical. So we got Will the Wisp. Uh, I actually like that item. I think it's a pretty good item. So I totally don't mind having it. Charge it up, and fire. That's pretty much just this character. You kind of do a backflip. I believe that my little however machine just goes to the strongest enemy currently uh, in the area. So I believe that if I used it right now, it would go to like some elite instead of just these monsters right here. So the gist of it is, you know, to attempt to get it. Uh, I'll take the healing. I'll take the mysterious. Sure. To try to get it in that little range for extra damage, but sometimes it's better just quick fire it. Tell you the truth. Also, sometimes it's okay to take some damage to the chin just to get your shot off. That's another reason why this character is not as good as other characters. Sometimes you gotta take some damage to the chin to get things done. Got eight more enemies to kill. All right. So, like I said, I'm just kind of happy that this series is back. I missed it. Uh, and I will not miss Shovel Knight. Not at all. Because I like playing this game. 
I don't like playing Shovel Knight. Not even in the slightest. All that game did was frustrate me. Oh, I believe that there's actually an artifact in this stage, but I believe I actually gotta, like, shoot the wall if I can. Unless it's a physical character. I think I gotta come here with, a, uh, uh, like, the, the miner or something, so I don't think I can get the artifact. Oh, well. I'll probably either do that, set inside one episode to either try to get some more artifacts, or just do it during my free time. But really, getting the artifacts isn't one of my major concerns. Platforming is... Nope, pretty much said fuck Shovel Knight. Got way too frustrated with that game, like, to the point where it was like, gr instead of like, oh cool, I get to go ahead and record some more Shovel Knight, or okay, let's go ahead and record some more Shovel Knight, it's like, oh my god, I gotta record some more fucking Shovel Knight. That's literally how I felt. And if that's how I'm gonna feel, then, you know, what's the point of doing that series if that's how I'm gonna feel? Like, if that's really how I feel, let's go ahead and move on to the next stage. It's only five minutes, so we still got, this is still gonna be the same part, of course. So we got Sky Meadow. I think I beat the game with uh, with the sniper once. I mean, I got some pretty great items, but I think I beat it with the sniper once. It was pretty easy too, because the damage output was just so great, and I pretty much just crushed the the boss, the final boss. So you know, hopefully I get lucky again, and I'll be able to do that. So as you can see, when I uh, actually line it up, I actually do extra damage. But sometimes it's just better just to quick fire it. Unless you're like an MLG guy and you can just get it on extra damage every single time. I can't. <laughs> so sometimes it's just better just to quick fire it. But overall, the only problem with this character is the damage output. Like, I think if they took out the mechanic where you had to like line up your shot and reload then the sniper would be a much better character because of that and because that's just the way they did the character he never turned out to be a really good character so took some damage on the chin there but i think it was kind of worth it just to do that good damage output and then because of spite now i run a little bit faster so yeah that's a good that's good uh thought maybe i could set up there for a little while doesn't look like it um I definitely want that jar. That jar shall be mine. Jar of souls is good. It's a good item. Go ahead and jump back. Charge it up and fire. Uh, a couple more enemies to spawn on the screen, of course. Uh, the health regen is nice, but also bustling fungus is pretty good, too. So. That's the one thing with this character too, sometimes you just gotta take some damage to the chin. Go ahead and use my Jar of Souls and summon some ghosts that would do some damage for me. Oh, it's just it's just good to be playing this game again. No more. Cause I, uh, even when I was done with Shovel Knight, I was gonna come right back to this game. If I ever be Shovel Knight. I didn't know it was gonna be that difficult. Like, for a game where you have infinite... It's, it's, it's not that, oh, I get a game over and stuff. It's not that. It's the fact that... You know, the platforming is not as crisp. If I was using probably a, probably a classic controller, like, my, my, my controller's not the best. I'm not the best at those games. Uh, and I'm just not in the mood. <laughs> you know? It wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't like the hard, it wasn't like, oh, challenging difficult. No, it was like frustratingly difficult. And I just wasn't in the mood to be playing a game like that. But Risk of Rain, on the other hand, Risk of Rain is fun. Even because Risk, because Risk of Rain, I feel like if you lose, it's your fault. You know, you tried your best, GG. You know, and and every run is different. Freaking Shovel Knight, I got what? I'm gonna get like one playthrough of that game, and then after that, I'm never gonna play it again. So fifteen dollars for something I'm never gonna play again. Awesome. Not really. I was being sarcastic. So. God damn it, I'm running way too fast. I keep jumping off the ledge and I don't want to do it. You know? Freaking Shovel Knight, I sit down for like a half an hour, play one stage, get frustrated, and that's two videos. Well, this on the other hand, I can play this for like, you know, a half an hour. That's like three videos, and I had fun. There's multiple characters, every run is different. So, 
Just Risk Arena is just an awesome game. If the money that you can be spending on Shovel Knight and get one playthrough of it and get frustrated as hell, you can do the exact same for uh, for for Risk of Rain for like half the price. Half the price. Risk of Rain. I think maybe even half, maybe even a quarter of the price. For a better game in my opinion. More playability. Because I like I like I like uh, roguelike games. I like the I like the replayability of the game. That's what makes Risk of Rain so much fun. Is that every time I, I play a, 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 a run through, it's always going to be different. It's never going to be the same. Let's go ahead and just charge up and shoot them. And, you know, of course, some characters I like more than others, and you know, I always get to decide. Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight just seems like a clunkier, less enthusiastic Mega Man. You know, where I would love to have the Mega Buster. But I don't. Alright, so that was part one of the sniper. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for supporting me in this series once again. I'm glad that it's back. Tired of Shovel Knight. And I'll see you guys next time.